Good day. It's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through two dollar coins again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we got my two dollar collection book already partly filled with the commemorative coins we've found so far. And as we go through the coins, I'll mainly be looking through the reverses, just looking for the commemorative coins. The standard type is the Aboriginal Elder, and at the end of that, I'll be going through all the coins to look for any that come from a year where no two dollar coins were issued for circulation being 1991 as well as those years lower mintage amounts all right let's get into the coins first roll hope everyone's doing well particularly good myself this week. It's not a bad week. We'll get into it with an Aboriginal elder. Oh, there's a 2020. Let's hope it's some colour. No. But we'll put it down because we don't know the mintage yet. So we'll keep those until we know what the mintages are. But mainly looking for uh, coloured coins. Oh, and some commemorative coins. Get from 2017. Quite a nice coin there. Got that one in the book though, so not to keep it, but it's just not going in the book. Here's another 2020. Not lost all, all sense of uh, priority. <coughs> in the comments about my last video which well my last video that had two dollars in it which was a um, for me it was my yeah, box video just putting a, my win from a YouTube competition up with a number of two dollar coins that uh, I asked viewers to have a look at and see if I uh, give the thumbs up to put it in this album and I'd love to be able to add it given I know that it was noodled out of from a YouTube video. Having said that, some people like my, like to think that only the coins that I noodle out will get any play. There's another 2020, it's nice and shiny. But I'd like to ask the question, see what people think. Okay, another roll. Uh, the colours are few and far between, and the commemorators are few and far between, so, you know, any. I'd like to be able to fill the book up at some point, and uh, any help I can get is welcome help, in my opinion. Ah, there we go. We have. Another colour coin, this is again the 2018 Commonwealth Games team, Gold Coast, 2018, that's a nice looking coin, pretty, pretty good order, there you go. I know we've got a couple of the Commonwealth Games, I don't know if we've got all three of those, but uh, they were issued by the Royal Australian Mint in conjunction with Woolworths. In a set with uh, two dollar coins and one dollar coins, so they're technically not issued for circulation, but they are definitely in circulation. Same with the uh, Mr. Squiggle coins and the. Is that a twenty? That's a twenty twenty one actually. That's one of my first twenty twenty one. So we'll keep that one out. out. And two Aboriginal elders. So. Yeah, Woolworths have had a relationship with the Royal Australian Mint for quite some time with a number of sets coming out and I do believe 
there is a set coming out this year in 2021. And I think it'll be the Wiggles based on the information uh, that is available on what the what the mint is legislated to to print. Uh, as part of the government's because the mint is a government organization it, what what it does is legislated by the government so legislation comes out well in advance of what it has to do so if you if you know where to look you can find out what coins are coming up what their um not necessarily what their mintage is going to be but what as a 2021 but what uh what's going to be on them they'll describe it they won't show it so i believe they're going to have a wiggles set for to sell with a couple of two dollar coins and a few one dollar coins so we'll see how that how that plays out this year I'm still speculating on what's going to happen with the uh oh there's another color coin it is the two dollar art mr squiggle with mr squiggle himself i was just talking about the Woolworths two dollar coins there we go that's very nice i don't think i've got that one so that might be going in for the book So yeah, uh, what's my train of thought there? Was it 2020? So yeah, Woolworths uh, and the Mint. Quite happy to put coins out for the general public. And then here's a gold poppy. Remember it's poppy from 2012. At $350 this time, seven rolls uh, as I go along, build up my float of coins that comes in and out of the bank. Uh, sometimes, you know, a big haul of uh, coins that gets kept and the float goes down a bit, and I go back to doing 50 cent pieces and this is 2021. 50 cent pieces and one dollars and a little bit less. A little, at the moment it's uh, up at 350 so we'll see how long that goes for it's 350 certainly in um, it's a 2021 certainly in 50 cent pieces is a lot it's very heavy lots of haul around there's a 2020 oh and there's a firefighters coin as well mm -hmm. i should have known because on this coin you'll notice that it has two dollars at the bottom so the jody clark effigy is slightly smaller then on this coin, this coin has the two dollars on the reverse. On this coin on the left, it has it on the obverse. So two dollars. So the Jody Clark effigy is smaller, so you can you can spot them if you're looking correctly. So that's the firefighters coin. I do. I know I have that in the collection. So that in in the book as well. So that's very nice. That's a keeper at the moment. Yeah, I was talking about the flight and how much I'm doing. Doing a bit of two. That's a that's a 19 actually. That's a, that's a nice coin. I just wonder what the uh, what the mintage is on the 19 IRBs. So that's nine mean. So that's not even though it's a nice coin. That's not a keeper. And there we go. Um, to the last one. Yeah. So hopefully some of the bigger some of my bigger hunts will find a little bit more that you know that it's not a bad hunt for a two dollar two dollar hunt based on you know the scarcity of a lot of these two dollar coins down at you know two million and under two million mintage so 20. It wasn't 20, 20 I'll put that aside I am holding a fair amount of 2020s Keeps my float coming up and down. There's another 20. So, as we 
come to the end, so what I, what I would usually do is pause the recording, there's another 2020, and just go through the Aboriginal elders that I've put to the side, making sure I've pulled out any of the um, coins that uh, got errors or are from low minted dates. So I'll be back in a second just to uh, let you know what I found. Okay, I'm back again. Uh, not too much to report. I do have a couple of extras. There was another one added to the 2021 pile, another couple added to the 2020 pile. I found a 2019 Jody Clark effigy of the Aboriginal Elder, which is a low minted coin. It's only two million of those minted, so that's a low minted coin that'll go into my collection. And as well, I found this. 1999 with a large rim cud you can see on the far side over here just starts there and goes up to there just a rim cud I haven't seen one of those for quite some time so that's quite good to put into the collection of errors you can see it there quite a large one and get the measuring stick out there see that it's about eight millimeters long so that's one to go in the collection but on to the book the uh, as I thought the uh, Commonwealth Games we have that already that's the Australian team uh, one but we don't have a uh, Mr. Squiggle which is on our sex pa second page there is Mr. Squiggle there with this placeholder Mr. Squiggle 2019 so we'll take out the placeholder and we'll get Mr. Squiggle landed, if we can get it open yet, there we go, Mr. Squiggle landed in there, so that's one ticked off for the book, which is great, the others will just go into the collection and, uh, or I'll hold on to them till the mintage figures come out, but thank you very much for watching and uh, can you leave me a comment if you like, subscribe, it helps the channel grow, and uh, thank you very much for watching, bye.